What are we doing today? Driving a train or something like that. Driving a train. And we're getting on a bullet train somewhere. I guess we're going from Shanghai. Beijing. Beijing to Shanghai. Yes. Okay, we're inside the train station and uh, we got about an hour and a half before we take off on the bullet train. So we're just kind of walking around looking at things. And the funny thing is, I don't feel out of place. Even though I'm completely out of place. All kinds of stuff. We're coming up on a Chinese McDonald's. It's funny, everything is pretty much the same. Same technology, same restaurants, same, same, same. Just different what words, are... letters, things. Oh my gosh, your hand. All right, we're getting on the train. All right, so which one are we? Are we this one or this one? Okay. Okay, we're beginning. The bullet train has started. We are going to go 486.1 kilometers an hour. That's max speed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the high speed EMU train. On behalf of all crew members on the train, we extend to you our warm welcome and wish you a pleasant trip. The next stop is Nanjing Man Railway Station. Well, we are about halfway through our journey on the train. arrived in Shanghai. Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai. We arrived in Shanghai and it's raining and it's clear out. We're unpacking our bags and going. <laughs> We're still in the train station. We're trying to get out. Cross. Cuma uh, titik tahu kita nggak pergi. Sudah so, gitu dia punya uh, gedung yang paling tinggi di sini. Nanti uh, apa Billy akan cerita. Ini gajah Billy. Selama dari Shanghai, Suzhou sampai ke Hangzhou, Billy yang akan temani. Ya, oke. Okay. Those who don't care. Yes, no, don't care. This is how I know what's going on. Is it the Starbucks lady? I don't know. It looks like it. She has a belly. Oh, is it Mother Mary? What is it? Oh, this one's a lady with a child. Okay, so apparently we're going to a temple of some kind that we're not allowed to bring photography. So, I am putting the camera away. So, as you can see, there are definitely some uh, something going on over there. Idols. This is uh, the temple we're going to. As you can see here, this guy is angry and he has a snake. So That is uh, the founder of the Buddhism, Siddhartha Gautama, you know, right? The story of that, the prince that... No, I don't know the story, but... Anyways, this is somebody else. He is the god of um, the seas, apparently. The sea, the ocean, just like Zeus and... What is it? In Greek mythology, you have the Poseidon. Oh. So he's the god of the sea. Look, and, uh, look, a monk. There's a monk. Yeah. And apparently, you pray in here, his speciality is healing the sickness. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, and then this one... Is the god of death. If you die and you want to to be accepted by the Buddha, you have to. No, you go to the heaven. The heaven and these are worshippers. 
That must be Confucius. Some of these guys don't look very happy. The story behind this thing is that it was a guy and it decided to become a woman because the women couldn't worship it. So it's a transgender god, apparently. Little G. Apparently over here you have a lot of wannabe Confucius. And if one of these things moved, I would be out of here so fast. So fast. Back on the other side with the uh, swastika Buddha things with spiky hair. These things are so massive. I wonder what they're made out of. It's almost creepy. And they are apparently reading from their holy book while kneeling on these pillows in front of their gods. So apparently this is the god of good grades, like school grades. So we're back in the bus and we are looking for a place to eat. Okay, I just learned that this place is for shopping and eating and it has an outdoor place to take pictures and Daisha is taking the stairs. because she wants to get her steps. Okay, we're ordering our food. It's a, this a place is famous for their steamed buns. They steam their buns here. Not buns, but buns. Oh, okay. They're like bread and then inside they have stuffing on it. Really soft. All right, we have rose juice. I thought it was roast juice, but it's rose juice. Yeah, that's not bad. Orange juice, Pepsi, something. Evian. Evian. That's water. Water? Water, right? water is Evian. <laughs> okay, we just finished eating, and it looks like it's clearing up outside, so we're going to walk down and do some more shopping. We're going to go shopping. Can you hear me? All right, what are we doing? Shopping, look around. Uh, we have to be back in about 33 minutes. 43 minutes? 33 minutes. All right, now we're kind of just wandering around, looking at everything. There's a bunch of shops here. They carve your name and things. They honk at you. They uh, do operas for three minutes. That's what they said, operas. Uh, it's very... Very different. Okay, we finished shopping, or lack thereof. We just kind of walked around and looked at everything. And I think now we're going back to the bus. Going on some kind of river cruise. What do you think of bamboo forest? Huh? What do you think of the bamboo, huh? I love the bamboo. I'm gonna grow a lot on our property. Okay, we're getting back on the bus. And we're gonna do something else. Daisha's pretty impressed with how the road lights up. Oh, I'll show you. So what'd you learn? Uh, 
uh, this is just almost the same way the sideways that America has to avoid people from going, you know, too far into the one side. The flashing lights? The flashing lights. So just a warning so you don't go into the bush when it gets dark. I don't know what's going on, but we're getting out. But it's for the boat trip, boat trip, boat trip. Quickly, quickly. Say that in Indonesian. Quickly. Cepat, cepat, cepat. 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 One of the most unique aspects of Shanghai is that the government allows them to uh, turn on all the lights in the buildings and have a, a very special effects at night so that they can uh, be seen up until 10 o'clock they'll pay off all the power so that's pretty cool so we're gonna get on a boat and go look at all the buildings all lit up at night wow this is nicer than I expected so what do you think, Deisha? Awesome! Um, that's the tallest building, but you can't see it because the clouds are really low. Hotel time. How many gets over? Did you complete? 